The way organizations functioned in the past was about efficiency and productivity. And in order to achieve that, they really had to divide up how the organization functions and then make sure that they do that in the most effective way possible. We're now living in a time where change outside of the organization, uncertainty, and this need to really serve customers better to remain competitive necessitates a different way for organizations to operate. And so what we're actually seeing is that before where it was a leadership mandate, it's now a mandate for every person in the organization. And that means that people need to work in different ways. They need to think about how they solve problems differently. They need to cross the silos that have existed in the past. And they need to make sure that they own digital transformation. I was really encouraged by the report in revealing two key aspects with regards to this concept of owning digital across the organization. First and foremost, nearly half the respondents acknowledge that organizational transformation needs to happen outside of IT. And that means there's a shared level of ownership to other leaders in the business. The second thing that I found important is that there's a recognition that people across the business need to identify their role and recognize what they need to do in driving a mandate. And it's not just the traditional frontline people or technology teams that need to own this, but ultimately every person in the business has a role to play in digital transformation. That is great traction to where things were but two years ago. But the benefit really is that when you get the whole organization to align and move behind this whole concept of serving the customer, making sure that you're responsive to what's happening in the market, and you're doing this better than your competitors, then inevitably your opportunity in capitalizing on digital transformation is something that you can really succeed at. The other realization that I thought was really important is the belief that employees want the organization to change and the employees want to be given the tools and the empowerment to be able to transform how they do their day-to-day -day jobs. And that certainly requires leadership to acknowledge how they need to do things differently. It recognizes that what's been successful up until now needs to shift and there needs to be that tolerance for experimentation. But over and above that, it's about driving an awareness and even a culture of ownership for every single person. This is definitely a journey and not an event. It's something that requires a lot of grit and a lot of commitment and also the acknowledgement that not all the answers are known. So organizations need to be willing to live in a world of discomfort, be willing to experiment, be willing to be uh, committed and remain committed to the process. And inevitably, over time, you will start to see accelerated benefits from those efforts. I'd like to encourage you to download the report and read it and start a conversation. We are living in such interesting times and as a community, we can work together to figure out these problems and look forward to connecting with you. Thank <laughs> you.